and when a baby presents with shock towards the end of the first week, we have four main important diagnoses that we need to rule out. Sepsis is always a possibility in such cases and baby can be moribund in these settings. Critical drug dependent congenital heart disease like coarctation of aorta or hypoplastic left heart syndrome can present this way. We could also have an inborn error of metabolism uh, like amino acid disorders or organic acidemia or the urea cycle disorders which may present and we need to uh, work upon those lines when we are not sure. We need to keep these babies on just dextrose, stop the feeds and send the workup that you'll be sending. Of course, keep in mind that any of the other diagnoses mentioned here could be there as well. And we could also have the salt losing type of congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Uh, suppose you have an uh, over-viralized male or an ambiguous genitalia and uh, over-viralized female, then we have to think of uh, congenital adrenal hyperplasia. The electrolyte disturbances uh, showing typically hyponatremia, hyperkalemia would support that along with hypoglycemia. Of course, it's not very specific, but you should be having a high index of suspicion in such cases. So, uh, the inborn errors of metabolism could also have non-specific presentations and often these overlap with all the danger signs we discussed earlier and sepsis could present with any of these as well.